enough. However, that hotspot concern resurfaces. Igor's lab, for example, found temperatures around 80.5 degrees Celsius on the power delivery section of a Pallet Gaming Pro OC5080. Again, a simple thermal pad adjustment brought that down significantly. So if you're looking for value, Pallet is strong, but be aware that you might want to consider a minor DIY tweak for long-term peace of mind on those specific hotspots. Now, let's talk about something that's perhaps caused even more headaches than hotspots, NVIDIA's drivers for the 5000 series. Since launch, there have been widespread reports of instability. We're talking blue screens of death, often pointing to NVLDDMKM errors, random freezes, black screens during gaming, or even just on the desktop, and frustrating display issues. What's been going on? Some theories point to initial instability with PCIe Gen 5.0 compatibility on certain motherboards. A common workaround was forcing your GPU's PCI slot to Gen 4.0 in your BIOS. Even DisplayPort cable quality was cited as a potential culprit. NVIDIA has been releasing frequent hotfix drivers, and things are slowly improving. But it's not yet the rock-solid experience many expect from NVIDIA. My advice? Be prepared for a bit of troubleshooting, check community forums for the most stable driver versions, and maybe even tweak your BIOS settings if you hit a wall.